Black has been exchanged for blue. Former All Black Glenn Osborne was one of 60 new police officers who graduated as constables today. Speaking after the graduation ceremony at the police college in Porirua, the 44-year-old said without a doubt his biggest challenge entering the force was having to study again. I spent 30 years with no study at all, really just reading books and, and bits and pieces. So it was probably the most hardest thing I've ever done in my life is getting back into the study law, the liabilities, the law that's involved with being a police officer and just trying to understand what the whole process is all about. That, without a doubt, is the biggest, biggest hurdle I've ever faced in my lifetime. Yeah, because you mentioned, I think, in a newspaper article last year about your literature, your English at yes. high school. Wasn't particularly great? Oh, no, it wasn't. I, I, I don't mind saying this. I've got about 13% in school C English, so... Obviously, I've had to work really hard. I have wonderful people, uh, support people back in Whanganui. Um, so uh, it's taken me a while. But, yeah, like I said before, um, trying to understand the values of the police, but just trying to learn. The hardest thing when I arrived here is I had no idea how to study. So I had to learn in a very short time how to study so I could study the information. And that was, for me, the, the hardest thing I've ever done in my whole life. Yeah. What's it like at 44? You must have been one of the older recruits as well. Do you don't yeah. mind my saying so? What was that like? Yeah, yeah, you get that in television. I look like one of the <laughs> oldest ones. No, um, for myself, uh, with all the fitness training that we did, um, I was in the top three in all of them. So, so long as I could hold my own with all the younger ones, uh, no one can really say anything, you know. I've always been a bit of a fitness freak sort of guy, so so long as I keep up to those standards, I believe, with my experience, and uh, I believe with a little bit of wisdom behind me, um, I, I, I do think that I'll be um, a, a good value for the, for the police. Glenn Osborne, if you were listening to that uh, rather than watching it, you won't know that he still looks as slim and as fit as he did when he was an All Black. In a sporting coincidence, the former All Blacks coach, John Hart, was the patron of the 298 recruit wing. He says he was honoured to be asked and didn't know at the time that Glenn Osborne was on the course. Hart said All Blacks past and present would be proud of Constable Osborne.